right, if you would turn your Bibles to the book of Matthew, we're going to read a little bit out of chapter 26 and verse 33 is where we'll start. 26, 33 of Matthew. Look at the first. Yeah, 26 and 30, 33. I think I'm right on this. But yeah, uh, 36. For I, want, I want to read uh, 26, 36. And it says, Then comes Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and said unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Amen. And he cometh unto his disciples and find them sleep and said unto Peter, What? Could you not watch with me one hour? I want to, I want to speak just a little bit and talk just a little bit on the word tarry. Uh, I was thinking about that here a while back and uh, I, was singing, I was singing to myself about a song and it, when I, I come to the garden alone, while the dew's still on the rose, and the voice I hear calling on my ears, it's the, the Son of God, uh, and the joy we share, we tarry there. And uh, I was thinking along these lines, uh, we, we have the opportunity to tarry with the Lord. That. And if we will, if we will give that opportunity, the privilege of acting, and as we try to tarry, we can be a, we can have a receipt, receive a blessing, and also be a blessing. Now, in this, in these scriptures that I'm reading, uh, Jesus said to them, "Wait here and, and tarry with me," because He knew what was fixing to come. And listen, we don't, we're not that educated enough about the future to know what's coming before us. But Amen. Jesus did. And so he asked that they tarry, that they wait, and that they watch for him. And so again, this morning, this is what we want to talk to you just a little bit about this morning. So here in verse 28 uh, and verse 36, then cometh Jesus with them into the place called Gethsemane and said unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. Now I want I want to show you something here, and you can you can you can talk uh, think about it your own self because I don't I can't make no decisions really on it. But in verse 37, and he said, and he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very grieved. Now I wondered about the the three that he chose, but I know Peter was the first that he chose, and then of course John was the last one to go, and so this uh, he depended strongly upon these, and uh, that's the same way with us this morning when we have a problem, when we have something that's bothering us, we go to the ones that we uh, feel like that we can trust the most that will comfort us or can tell us something to do about the problem. And so he chose Peter and, uh, and John and uh, uh, Zebedee's two sons, and, uh, and, and he called them to him, and he said in verse 38, Then said he unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. And so we know this morning that he knew that he was going to die. Mm -hmm. And he knew that this was fixing to come. And But he said here, you tarry. You sit here, you watch, you watch for me. You be a, a, a help to me because I need your help. Amen. And Jesus was asking them, actually asked, asking them to do these things because it would be a help to him, but yet he knew what was going to happen, and yet this was going to be a fulfillment of the Bible. And so 
uh, he done it for their good and he did it because he loved them and he wanted to show his love for them through asking them for, to be a help to him. So uh, he said here, then said he unto them, my soul is deceived sorrowful even of death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed saying, oh my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Now notice here that he went a little farther after he left Peter and, and them there, John and then James. He, he went a little bit farther uh, himself and he prayed again. And when he prayed like this, knowing, knowing what was fixing to happen, knowing that Judas Iscariot was right beyond the, uh, the hill and he had to come over to see Jesus. Knowing this, he said here, let this cup pass from me. And this cup was a, a type of a drink I mean, it was it represented a drink, and it was a it was a it was a type of a measuring device also. But these this this cup that he asked to be passed from him was the sins of the world that was poured upon him at the crucifixion, and we see this morning it was a it was a sin of all mankind, and it was poured upon Jesus as. He was killed, and so this cup he's asking for, he said, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will. Amen. And he knew, he knew, he knew what was going to happen, and he knew it wasn't the will of God that this would pass from him, because listen, had this not happened, there wouldn't be a one of us saved this morning. Mm -hmm. We would not have had anyone to... Uh, go to and, and ask forgiveness. We wouldn't have had anybody to pay the debt, the sin debt for us. And Jesus Christ was the only one that could die and, and, make, and make the sacrifice and to cover our sins. He was the only one. There was none Amen. other uh, and, 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 and all the cattle and all of the uh, things that God had created when he created Adam and Eve, there was nothing else. The stars, the moon, there was nothing else that was worthy enough to die for our sins. And so, you know, as we, as we think upon this tearing, uh, as we tarry, as we pray, as we wait upon the Lord, Listen, it's a beautifulest, it's the beautifulest thing that you can endure, that you can, uh, or that you can enjoy, I say, because listen, you don't get it every day. Amen. You don't get that blessed, that blessed peace every day. But listen, people, when you get it, you don't never forget it. Amen. And the thing of it is, it just don't last long. Uh, and you keep trying to call it back and, and, and pray and say, hey, I, I want some more of that. But listen, it's, it, it just don't happen that way. But we get enough of it through uh, experiencing these things and we have that taste to us that encourages us to go on and to try to serve the Lord because we know one of these days we're going to leave this earth. Right. Uh, and we're going to be with Him and we're going to enjoy all the joys of heaven and uh, as the song says uh, 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 there's there's no peace like that uh, the joys of, of heaven there's there's no peace like it Amen. and so we are be encouraged this morning when we think upon these things and understand that we have a Jesus a Savior that's sitting there on the throne and he's sitting there with God and he's making intercessions for us and he Love, he turns to God and makes these these requests for us. And listen, there's there's no reason why that that we can't have these requests if we'll if we'll serve Him and do what He asks us to do. And so here again, I'm going to read a little bit more. <clears throat> if I can find my place now, and uh, He said in verse 41, <clears throat> after He had talked to Peter. And, 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 and he said, What could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, and here's the catch, but the flesh is weak. Amen. And this morning, people, if it wasn't for our flesh, 
uh, we can serve the Lord and we will be able to one of these days with a glorified body, one that is sinless. We'll have a glorified body and a sinless spirit and they will unite and, and, and we can serve him and we can enjoy, we can enjoy those moments that we, that he blesses us with when we pray and, and he comes and, 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 and consoles us. We can, we can enjoy those things throughout and eternity. Amen. There'll be there'll be great joy there. There will be at the feet of Jesus. We can be worshiping him. We won't have to worry about this thing or that thing or how we're going to do this or how we're going to do that. But listen, it won't have no flesh to put up with. Amen. And so he said here, uh here in the that the but the flesh is weak and then in verse 42 he went again away again the the second time and prayed saying O oh my father if this cup may not pass away from me except i drink it thy will be done amen so everything that jesus ever prayed for or ever he prayed it in the harmony with his father and he said thy will be done because listen when it's all said and done jesus will Jesus will give everything to God and God will be king and Jesus will be there by his side. But listen, Jesus is a, Jesus wants God's will to be done and he wants it to be done in, in our lives and, uh, and, and he wants us to serve him that way. And then in verse, verse 43, after he'd done this, he said, and he came and found them asleep again for their eyes were heavy. You, you can understand their eyes being heavy because they had been up all day long and it was nighttime and they were probably sleeping. But the thing of it was, uh, this was part of the thing that would happen and uh, it, was, it was future things. That, it was telling future things. But anyway, they were asleep. And he left them and went away again and prayed the third time saying the same words. Then cometh he to his disciples and said unto them, Sleep on now and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Amen. And so here he is uh, out there in the garden and, and uh, he's telling Peter and them, Just sleep on now. And so he says in verse 46, he says, Rise, let us be going. Behold, he is at hand which doth betray me. Now, I want to read something in the book of Luke, if, if you would bear with me just a minute, and then I turn there. Luke 24. <clears throat> 29. I think it is. Luke 24, 29. Bear with me. Okay. Verse 24 of Luke 24. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. Now, this was the incident where on, uh, that uh, Jesus met these people on the road, and they, and they walked and they talked, and he told them all of these things. And so now they've invited him inside. Uh, to eat with them and, and it was dark and so they asked him to come on in so he did and in verse 30 and it came to pass as he said at meat with them he took bread and blessed it and break and gave to them and their eyes were open Amen. and they knew him and he vanished out of their sight and they said one to another did not our hearts burn within us while he talked with us by the way, and while he opened to us the scriptures, and this uh, uh, this morning should be a an experience that we have often as we talk to the Lord, and the Holy Spirit speaks to our souls, and uh, He said, "Here did our hearts burn with us," and we this morning as uh, as Christians uh, experience some of the same things uh, that they were experiencing, and as as we talk to the uh, the Father and, and the Holy Spirit deals with our 
hearts, there's, there's that burning sensation, there's that good feeling sensation, and he says, and uh, in, in verse 32, and they said one to another, did not our hearts burn within us while he talked with us by the way, and while he opened to us the scriptures, and they rose up the same hour. They didn't wait for it to come to the daylight and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven gathered together and them that were with them saying, The Lord is risen indeed Amen. and hath appeared to Simon. And they told and they told what things were done in the way and how he was known to them in the breaking of bread. And so here we see here that they had eaten with him and they recognized the way that he break bread and, and at the table, you know, when, when they were at the uh, feasting, he would break bread and give it to them and, and these things. And so he had a certain way of identifying himself and that's what that, how they do that. And in verse 36, and as they thus spake, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and frightened and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why are you troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your heart? Behold my hands and my feet, and it is it, that it is myself. Handle me and see, for the spirit hath not flesh and bone, as ye see me have. And this again reminds me of the, the time when he was walking on the water and Peter was see him coming and he said it's the Lord and, and, and they were frightened because of, it was Jesus and they thought it was a spirit at first and so they they didn't identify him there and they, they didn't understand this here and verse 40 and when he had thus spoken he showed them his hands and feet and while they yet while they yet believed not for joy and wonder he said unto them have ye here any meat and I, I, he is trying to get across a point to them this morning uh, that uh, uh, that he can do things spiritually, or he can do he can eat the meat and all be in the spirit. But he was uh, in the flesh also, as he was stood here and in the spirit also. And so he said here, and they gave him a piece of raw fish and of a honeycomb, and he took it and did eat before them. Now I want to go down a little bit more uh, here uh, in verse, after after this is that, uh, uh, he told them in verse 47, and that ye repent and remission, and that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name among all nations, being at Jerusalem, and ye are witnesses of these Amen. things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. And here we know and, and understand that the, uh, the reason for the tearing, the waiting, was that the baptism of the Holy Spirit was fixed to take place. And he said here that until ye be endued or empowered, with the power from on high. And he led them out as far as to Bethany, and he lifted up his hand and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. Amen. And they worshiped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And uh, again, I want to mention to you this thing. <coughs> Uh, to just encourage you, not to just keep repeating something, but to encourage you. In tearing, in tearing, there's a blessing. Mm -hmm. It's it's a blessing, and it's a blessing, and it's a blessing, and you, and, and it takes patience. It takes waiting. But listen, if you love the Lord like you should, you'll be able to wait and to 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 serve him and to tarry and to uh, uh, look to him for, for guidance because he says, and he, in verse 52, and they worshiped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple praising and blessing God. Amen. Amen. And so this was a thing that he, he also had uh, uh, showed them. And now i got one more thing I want to read to you in Acts. 
Acts 2, and of course it's on the day of Pentecost, in verse 1, Acts 2 and verse 1, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all of one accord, uh, one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them with cloven tongues like as a fire, and it set upon each of them. Amen. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Now when you when you say they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, they were saved people. Listen. And because and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews devoured men out of every nation under heaven. Now when this this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. You bet. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are all are not all these which speak Galileans, and how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we have were born? And again we're talking about miracles happening. Uh, it was it was something that uh, uh, was was it was a miracle mm -hmm. that it had all these all these different languages and they all heard them in the same tongue. And uh, if they hadn't have, if they hadn't have obeyed what Christ said and and waited, this miracle would not have happened to them. But he says uh, here uh, in verse after calls all the names of those and in verse twelve and they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What meaneth this? Others mocking said, These are full of new wine. And so they accused them of being uh, drunk. And uh, But Peter, standing up with his eleven, lifted up his high voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judah and all ye that dwell in Jerusalem, be this known unto you and hearken to my word. For the words, for these are not drunken, as you suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is the that which was spoken of by the prophet Joel. Now, this is uh, this was this was the thing that I wanted you to see. If I can uh, uh, find it, but I don't know if I can find it or not. But anyway, they they Peter asked. Uh, in here, I thought I, I knew where it was at. Peter asked them, can any man pre pre prevent them water to be baptized? Now, that was after they had had received, been filled with the Holy Spirit, and they, the thing that I wanted to bring out to you, and I, I don't know why I can't find it, but anyway, this is, this is, you just bear with me just a minute, and I'll, I'll see if I can find it for you. Uh, well, anyway, I'm going to tell you to it, and i got to go. But listen, he asked them, could any man forbid water that these be baptized? Now, your, your verse false 30, religions. Verse 38. Your, verse 38. Thank you. Uh, what chapter? Verse 238. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that is. And then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, for the promise is not unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as are called of the Lord. That's not, I don't think that's what I wanted to know, but the, he he's saying here in one place there, can, uh, they at, were baptized in the Holy Ghost and then he, they, they needed to be baptized and said, uh, can any man prevent them from being baptized? And I wanted to bring out this point here this morning. Listen, so many false denominations or a lot of them feel like that salvation is a completion or, or baptism is a completion of of of, 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 of salvation but that's listen 10, not 47 huh 
Acts 10, 47. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'm going to read this because, listen, it's something that, uh, that we need to hear. Acts 10, 37, 47. 47. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brother Larry. Uh, it's... Uh, and in verse 47, can any man forbid water that these should be should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost? So they he's asking the question, can any man forbid them to be baptized after they received the Holy Ghost? These men were saved. Amen. And and what happens is in these false cults and things, they say, No, you can't be saved until you're baptized. But this don't say that. Amen. This says here that they had already received the Holy Spirit, and he says now they can still be baptized. And uh, I, I know the devil hates it. I know the devil hates it. And uh, but that's 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 how he gets all of his a lot of his converts and how he's filling hell full. Mm -hmm. and, and and people people thinking well because I've been baptized I'm saved well listen people that's not right that's not the way to go and I hope that there's anybody out there that's on and listening to us this morning that they'll take this to heart and hear this because listen these 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 false denominations people they're they're learning everything and they're they're sending people to hell uh, just as fast as they die. So, uh, please, this morning, I, uh, that for the church here, talking about praying for people. Listen, that's that's a prayer that we need to pray for all these people because Amen. they're in a, they're 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 receiving this false teaching, and uh, they believe it. And listen, they'll lay down and close their eyes and die, saying, "Hey, I'm ready to go." And all in the world they're doing is believing on works for salvation. Mm -hmm. So. That's my lesson. I'm sorry that it took this long. I appreciate Brother Larry finding that for me. I don't know. I didn't mark it down for somebody to know. But thank you all so much for listening. Y'all have a good day. Thank you.